Casino and Resort would like to congratulate the winner of a brand new car. What is up guys, I'm the Gaming Gorilla and after playing around with the Casino DLC for about a day now, I think I've got a pretty good idea of what's going on and I've found a few tips and tricks that I want to share with you guys. Like how to get the new Trophoday Thrax 100% guaranteed, as well as how to get some easy money. So let's get into it. Alright, to start off, last night after throwing away pretty much every bit of my money in the casino, I was obviously pretty pissed off. And you know when you're in that pissed off mood and you sort of just begin to get angry at every little thing? Well that was me. Um, and as I was on my way out of the casino, I was thinking, man, screw this, I walk so slow in the casino, I'm done. And in the process, I found something pretty cool. Turns out, and I'm not sure why, but if you actually walk in first person in the casino, you'll go significantly faster than when you're walking. So I actually recorded myself walking the same route in first person and in third person, and yeah man, you can definitely see the difference, so check it out. Alright, the second tip I've got for you guys is about the penthouse, and I'll elaborate on it a bit, but my advice for most players is to not buy it. And here's why. Other than gaining the ability to start the casino storyline, there is absolutely no way to actually get any money from owning a penthouse. It basically is kind of like the yacht from the previous DLC, but just 2.0. And look, if you want to just flex on your friends, go ahead and buy it, but if you're a money grinder and you're looking at a more practical point of view, it's probably not worth your investment. And I actually just made a video on why that is, so feel free to check that one out, it'll be in the card in the top right of your screen right now. And speaking of the story, and this will hopefully let you make a decision on whether you want to buy a penthouse or not, after completing each story mission for the first time, you'll actually get a $50,000 bonus, and there's about 7 story missions, I believe. So already right there, you've got over $300,000, and on top of that, when you actually finish the storyline, you get another big bonus as well. I think it's about $250,000. And on top of that, if you actually host all of the story missions, You'll also get the Paragon R armored sports car that's new with this DLC as well. The standard version of that sports car that's not armored, I believe is around $900,000, and you get that for free after finishing the storyline, but you have to host every single mission. So if that sort of makes you want to buy a penthouse to get that, then that's understandable, but I think for most players, it's probably best to steer clear. Tip number four, and this sort of goes without saying since you saw the thumbnail, and that's don't buy the new supercar, the Trophoday Thrax. Because as we're going to go through in a little bit, you can actually win that 100% guaranteed, so stick around. Tip number five, or I guess it's more like a public service announcement, and that is to keep up to date with all the changes that have been happening to the passive mode. If you're someone who likes killing other players or someone who gets killed a lot, it's important to know these changes. So the new changes are... You can't use passive mode anymore when you're in a weaponized vehicle. You also can only use passive mode once every five minutes now. If you kill someone, you can't use passive mode for two minutes. So I guess that's a good thing so that people can't just kill you and then go in passive mode straight away. And the final thing is it actually takes 30 seconds to disable passive mode now. So you can't just go in and out of it whenever you want. Tip, or I guess it's a little trick, number six. And this is because a couple of you guys have asked me about how to do this. When you're walking around your penthouse, and in your penthouse bar in particular, it can seem sort of lonely, even if you have a lot of friends around. So what you can actually do by going to the phone in your penthouse is for $20,000, you can organize a members party. So what that's gonna do is fill your bar up with NPCs to give it a more, I guess, lively environment. See, look at how happy these guys are that I'm spraying champagne all over them. These are way better than my real friends. Oh, what's going on? Oh. Yeah, they didn't look happy to see me at all. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, the next tip, and this is actually a really cool one in my opinion. If you go to the phone in your penthouse again, you can actually use the limousine service. And on the service, this doesn't look like it's very cool, but hear me out. 
this actually acts as a fast travel. So what you do is you basically just set the location you want to go to. As you can see, there's a lot there. You hit OK, and there you go. You're on your way there. I can definitely see this being really useful if something's on the other side of the map and you don't want to fly or drive all the way there. So there you go. You saw I was just in the casino, and now I'm at Polito Bay. And I just realized I have to drive all the way back down. Okay. Alright, tip number eight is about the gambling. And ah, I know you think that I'm going to tell you how to win more money in the casino. Absolutely not. I completely suck and I guarantee there's a pretty good chance that you're better than me at it. But I can definitely tell you how to lose money. So what you want to do is you want to go in here to the inside track and you want to bet on horse number three. It doesn't have the best odds, but it doesn't have the worst. You'd think you'd win once in a while, right? Let's have a look. Cool. Okay. Lost again. Again. Come on, yes, yes. Yeah, lost again. Alright, surely this time, come on. Are you kidding me? Six to one odds, you reckon, mate? Okay, buddy. So, yeah, that's the story of how I lost all my money, so don't do that. Alright, the final tip. And I'm sure this is the one you all came for, and this is the daily spin. And the first thing I want to say about the daily spin is do it every day. Because then you have a pretty good chance of winning 10,000 RP like I did. Can you hear the excitement in my voice? But on a serious note, yes, the thumbnail and the title are correct. You can actually get unlimited spins on the daily wheel. And here's how you do it. So you go up and you spin the wheel just like you do any other time. And as the wheel is about to finish, if it's not going to land on the car, like I can see there, it wasn't going to land on the car, close the application as soon as you can. GTA works on an autosave basis, however it doesn't actually autosave every single second. So if you close the app fast enough after spinning the wheel, it won't actually save what you have done to that point just yet. So after that you just load the game up and you'll be able to go do your spin again. And yes, unfortunately that does mean that you lose the rewards you got for that spin, but at the end of the day it means you can spin it as many times as you want until you get the reward you want. And in this instance I think it took me about 10 tries in order to get the car, but as you can see, I did finally get it and it saved me over 2 million dollars and potentially 10 to 20 days of spinning the wheel. It's also important to keep in mind that technically, yes, this is a sort of glitch. But at the same time, I'm not sure if it's a glitch that Rockstar is going to be able to patch, because this is something that's happened in GTA since its launch. And by that I mean the fact that it doesn't autosave every single second. So I don't know if they're going to be able to patch this one out, but keep in mind I would probably do it as soon as possible, just in case they do manage to patch it out. So, that'll do it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more GTA as well as other online game news, reviews, discussions and comparison videos. Make sure to click one of the two videos that's about to pop up on the screen in a second and I'll see you guys in the next video. Poise!